Hello, my year. darling. Welcome How back. How are you doing, New Year? No. <laughs> uh, happy New Year, my wonder happy birds. New year. Oh, happy New Year, darling. I'm going, to do, I'm going to do the magic mic or magic dick routine for you and lose the what? dog walking. Oh, yeah, it's too much promise there, darling. There too much go. promise. There we go. There right. you go. <laughs> so, are we recording? Yay! Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> darling, have you seen uh, Magic Mike? Cute. Have you seen Magic Mike? Do you know, I did do a deep squat for Channing Tatum once, and it was, a, it was in the professional capacity. So yeah. I was interviewing him. I forget what the movie was. It was a couple of years back. Very charming. Um, big unit, as you can imagine. And uh, yes. so the producers said, I'll take along, um, uh, I don't know, you kids would probably call it a boom box or something, have it discreetly <laughs> hidden. And then halfway through the interview, you can whip out a uh, baseball cap, press the button and basically give Channing Tatum a lap dance. Anything for clickbait these days on the internet, as far as our show is concerned, um, which I did do. And he was so impressed with my deep squat, um, particularly because obviously I'm a man of a certain age, that he invited me to join the Magic Mike live show here in London for a one-off cameo, um, which I declined. Oh, did you, darling? Did were you, you able to get up from the deep squat? I just need to know. Or were you stuck in the squat? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Harriet. Yes, the knees are not what they were. So I couldn't get up unaided and that probably thwarted any opportunity I had for stripping in public. Yes, um, yes. But, the ropes um, and pulleys, they get in the way. That's right. So here we are. Happy New Year, ladies. And uh, lockdown has begun again. I don't know about you. I have had <sighs> the most bizarre dreams again. The lockdown, yes. waking up at the TikTok at the three o'clock clock in the morning. Yes. Um, so yeah. I've, I've had two dreams this week. And you, you can judge, ladies, as, as, as you're prone to do with my good self, you can judge which one <laughs> is the camper, right? So uh, in the middle of the week, I dreamt that I was on a beach with Jason Donovan um, drinking cocktails. And the, the beach was actually on the high street of my old town where I grew up in rural Aberdeenshire, a place called Inverurie. And it was outside a shop called JG's where after school we would pop down and have chips and gravy, pure class. Uh, and the second dream, I'm on a plane with Carol Vorderman. Uh, the worrying thing about the plane is it clipped the top of two houses. So I'll have to have a Google about that. That doesn't sound <laughs> ideal. But we were singing Shirley Bassey's My Life. <laughs> as in This Is My Life. I think it's the Shirley Bassey one that probably- You know, I, I don't know, John, I'm because I, I'm not sure because, um, yeah, my camp radar is that I'm not sure that cocktails with Jason Donovan outside a chip shop on a beach in your hometown in the <laughs> no. that does it for me it's more layered yeah, she's more comfortable layered darling I think yes more layered. I the Shirley Bassey yeah. definitely darling because I love all no. those sort of hand I've movements chipped. because you know she used to come and have tea with us on a Sunday Shirley Bassey when I was a child yeah and oh. I'm, I, I have to tell you that this is absolutely true she came around one Sunday and I was always fascinated by her and she did this and she had a hole in her shirt <laughs> we can't, darling, she'll write I into the program. You that. can't tell us. You can't see that. She'll write in. <laughs> Did, forgive me why I just have a quick... I'll tell you why. Um, hold on one second. Just bear with me, caller. Um, talk amongst yourselves or over yourselves, as you're prone to do. One second. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, girls. It's good to see you. Um, good to right, see you, too. Go. Good to see you, too. Um, yeah, she was born on the 8th of January. This is the weird thing. So I had the dream Thursday night and her birthday is on the 8th, Friday, yesterday. How weird yesterday. is that? that is One of the weird. makeup girls at Good Morning Britain said that. My favourite Shirley Bassey story ever. And I, my dad was a massive fan. So I took him and mum. Uh, uh, she, she was playing on the South Bank, actually, um, way back when. And I took dad as a treat. Uh, for one Father's Day, and uh, but my favourite story came from um, a sort of a, a luncheon, if you like, as they call them in polite society, repast <laughs> that you take during the day. And um, I don't know whether it's tittle tattle, and it's not remotely libelous. In fact, it paints Shirley in, in the kind of light that we want Shirley to be painted in. Um, and um, apparently, um, she was. Uh, how can I put it delicately? Um, the powers that be thought perhaps she was spending a bit too much on frocks and they wanted her to rein it in a bit. Um, uh, and uh, she decided to meet said uh, accountant and um, arrived at the restaurant, fully glammed up. The whole restaurant stood up on its feet and gave her a round of applause. Oh. 
Apparently she sat down at the table wow. and she said, that's why. Yes, that's fantastic. Yes. <laughs> Will you tell us what did you, how much and what did you eat over Christmas? And are well, you still you know, eating? I think, no, it was, it, was a, it was a muted affair, wasn't it? And we had a, yeah. a rather large turkey. I think I may have said to you just before Christmas yeah, crunch, versus crunch, Michael Miss Yuletide or whatever we call it these days. So um, I, a large turkey, uh, six and a half kilos as it turned out to be. So uh, <laughs> mum eats like a bird. And uh, the other half and I, I think we went through um, three quarters of a breast. Steady. Um, but darling, Thank you, you. Just, is that all? That's the first. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a first, to darling. Up in 1985 on that uh, Abidjan <laughs> High Street. Um, so yeah, three quarters of a breast. Um, I have to say, I, I observed um, the thing with meat. Apparently, just, we've already taken this show to another level entirely. But <laughs> with your meat, ladies, you're supposed to once you've cooked it, let it rest for the length of time that you've actually cooked it for. So I cooked the turkey for about two and a half hours. I let it sit for two and a half hours and it was very moist. So that went down well, very happy about it. And because of course there was no one at the table, apart from my good self um, and mum and the, and the ball and chain, I could carve the bird at the table for the first time. You know, like, you know how you see it on yeah. most shows cooking with, yeah. all, with all the bits around it. And I, I always like to be below stairs um, at Christmas because uh, I can park mum upstairs uh, with a sherry and she can watch telly. So we put her in front of Bridgerton, you know, the Regency drama on Netflix, yeah. which was a little yeah. bit saucy for her, but nevertheless, it got her in the mood for a bit of <laughs> afternoon delight when she came below stairs to eat the bird. And um, <laughs> uh, so we managed to style it out and I rather enjoyed the sort of more muted festivities, if I'm honest. And we had a, a little um, a Christmas walk on, you know, in the early evening on Christmas Eve, it was absolutely Baltic here in London, absolutely yeah. Baltic. But yeah. it kind of lent to the sort of twinkly atmosphere. Um, so that yeah. was all good. And I, I, I made my oh. first ever turkey pie because, of course, there was nothing to do on Boxing Day. Yeah. Um, and that was it. It was all, I, I didn't mind it, actually, if, if I'm honest. You know, no that it was pressure. A bit more it's subdued. no pressure, is yeah. there? Yes, no, exactly. Yeah. There was a calm that's not yeah. really there. Yeah. And, um, and I heard a little birdie told me that you've actually not just been binging on food, darling, but on something else, beginning with D. Is that correct? Oh, Dallas, oh, please, have, please oh, put yourself in our misery. Please. <laughs> it's I'm true. I, I, I just, there, there's so, I try and limit our time in front of the television during the day. So in the evening, we've been watching The Queen's Gambit on Netflix, which is absolutely fantastic. Brilliant. Fantastic. Um, Brilliant. And uh, we were watching it um, last night and they drink this martini on it called... Um, uh, the Gibson, which is basically like a dirty martini, but with an onion in it and brine. And that's right up my street. Ooh, yeah. um, and I said, oh, Stuart, I'm going I'm to start making Gibsons. And he said, you know, most people are actually taking away a passion for chess from this, the Queen's Gambit, but you're obviously taking away for passion for more <laughs> clear liquor, which is just what we don't need here in lockdown. So that's the evening treat, ladies. But I do treat myself, speaking of afternoon delight as we were, to a couple of episodes of Dallas. And I thought, well, look, if we're going to be here for three months and there are 357 episodes and about three TV movies, I think Ooh. I will treat myself to a couple of episodes um, every afternoon because honestly, ladies, aside from talking to you guys, there is very little going on down the tinsel mines at the moment, as you can imagine, because <laughs> there is still only one story. So um, us birds of a feather will have to stick together, I think, for the time being. Definitely. Yeah. So, so where are you in Dallas? Are you halfway through or what? Oh. No, sorry, I, I have finished the first five episodes of the pilot season. You know what a geek I am when it comes to all things Texan. And, and yeah. I'm about three episodes into what was really the first proper season, but we call it season two. Uh, to answer your question, I could go on about it all day, but I will let you know as I progress. But if I do two or three in the afternoon, I should get through it in about three months. Because apparently if you start it this weekend, ladies, with 357 episodes, you'll have an episode for every day of the year. But ah. uh, one would hope that we're not under lock and key for the rest yes. of the year. Do you, you know all the names of the characters, Richard? Do you know all the names of the characters? And yes, I, 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 I stopped short of wearing the sets and uh, at home. <laughs> Richard, have you, have you ever done Celebrity Mastermind? Do you know, Debbie, I did. And guess what my specialist subject was? Dallas! Oh, Dallas. Dallas! It was. And I, I, I thought I did rather well with that. <laughs> I went up on the Rattler to where it was being filmed at the time because uh, uh, Laura, our... Uh, our weather turn at Good Morning Britain did it recently and they had to go to Ireland to film theirs. Oh. Um, but uh, I did it up, I, I think it must have been in Manchester 
and it was a few years ago now and my agent came on the train that sounds rather grand but um she wanted to come along <laughs> for the gig because she's a big fan of the show I mean bless her heart I don't think she's ever come anywhere else so she sat there on the train on this rattler going north testing me um on all the Dallas episodes which um I had obviously watched from the beginning. So I do have kind of a, a Dallas diplomatic immunity at the moment from the other half to indulge in the afternoons with a couple of episodes of, of Dallas. How did um, you do, Richard? Did you do well? I, I did all right. You know, the, I, I fell down a little bit on the general knowledge round, um, but my Dallas round was... Did bad. you get everyone right? I did my show. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. She was on fire that afternoon. She was on fire that afternoon. Wow. The weird thing about doing Celebrity Mastermind, ladies, I don't, if you ever, it is, you, you know, you go on and it, it's an iconic show. Do you remember when we were growing up, you, you'd get the uh, the game, um, the little brown box with all the, the pegs and stuff. So I remember playing that when I was a kid, but you grew up with Mastermind, the show. And then when you sit in the chair, Oh, it doesn't swivel. It, it just doesn't. It, well, it doesn't swivel. And you, you no. realize when you're sat in a chair, you, you think you want to do this or something, or do you know what I mean? I don't know. But terrifying. Like, you know, um, yeah. And it, yeah, you just sit in your sight. You're really. It's, it's like you think I'm absolutely. I, I'm, it's like I'm strapped in here. There is nowhere to go, and you're obviously just <gasps> right down the barrel. It must be health and safety, dear, that you might Gosh. spin like a. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> so, Richard, what did you do New Year's Eve? Very subdued again. Very subdued again. Um, as I say, Sherry, I, I didn't really miss all of Mother, it. I always yeah. find new, I knew, we talked about the party season, didn't we, when yeah. we were last together? And I, I, I didn't, I, what's weird is I find myself watching TV now and when I see party scenes in films and TV shows, I go, oh, I can't wait to just pop a cork and clink some bubbles, um, you know, with people. I must admit, I do miss that, but that's all of us, isn't it? Because we're all yeah. people, people, so to speak. Mm. Um, uh, but I, I, New Year, it, it, it always feels a little bit, like I said to you before, you get the butterflies in your stomach, there's all that anticipation, and then I'm usually in bed by half past 12. I know, you know 12 is gone. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You know, and you're just an absolute, Holland. a spent yeah. force. Um, but I you know what? We, we, we begin the New Year, um, and we've just got to keep up our optimism, keep up with the jazz hands. Um, and just, you know, style it out, haven't we? I think we've done all right, ladies. I think, you know, yeah, we've done yeah. really, really, really well. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's just keeping on, and keeping on. That's the deal. Yeah. And you're back at work, aren't you now? Every back day. at work, yeah. Um, and Shree, it's it's um one in and, and one out, so we, we can't linger. Oh. Um, now that takes me back, Debbie. Um, yeah, I was going to say. Tell anyone, darling, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I've missed you, I've missed you. Um, so, uh, yeah, one in, one out, throw myself around. The, the great thing is what I tend to do is um, I get the car straight to mum's and then have breakfast with mum because she lives around the corner. Oh, so, lovely. Oh. so we get oh, to do all that nice. to keep mum's spirits up because once again, obviously, in the central town where mum lives, you know, obviously the cafe's shut, um, you know, yeah. M&S is shut in the station and all those sort of things that are like yeah. touchstones for people when they're of a certain age and they want to go out and chat to the people, you know, behind the counters and stuff. But she's in great hands um, uh, with the neighbours and stuff, which is good. But so I pop oh, in. So I, I swear, within three months, I will have ballooned because there's nothing like your mum cooking a fry up for you. You know, there it, you go. no fry yeah. up in the world ever tastes as good as mum. So oh, it's always never. three rashes Lovely. of bacon, two fried eggs, and I'm <gasps> very prone to plums. Steady. Plums. Plum tomatoes. Yes. Oh. Plum tomatoes. And, and not just sausage, darling. No, 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 no. That three rashes is enough. Um, Does it bacon for you? This is a whole nother heated debate because I posted okay. a picture. I'm not prone to post pictures of food on Instagram, but I posted a picture of the fry up. Um, with, and the, the kind of essence of the shot was basically, you know, there's nothing sweeter than, um, you know, your, your mum cooking your breakfast if you're lucky enough to still have your mum around. So, um, and th there was quite a, a heated debate. Um, about the bacon, and they felt it was sort of underdone. But I, I don't like my oh. bacon crispy. I don't like no. it too charred. You know how sometimes you get it in America or or yes, yeah. yeah. I like it crispy. I like crispy. I, I'm sorry. Do you, Harriet? Oh. Yeah, sorry, I like a crispy, yeah, rasher. I want you to know, know darling. That's, yeah, that's true. I like it like you like it, actually, Richard. Yeah, yeah. just just done enough, you know. Before yeah, you were vegetarian, yeah. Sherry, were you crispy or were you soft? Crispy. Crispy. Mm. Yeah, see, for me, that is like yeah. licking my own oven. 
Um, oh, yeah, what are you going to say that? Please. please. <laughs> No, you can't say that. Literally. It's a Saturday morning, Richard. You can't yeah, say, right. it your own oven. say that because everybody knows I've got a self-cleaning oven. <laughs> there you go. Oven. <laughs> Richard, I need to know on the on the on the discussion of licking your own oven. I need to know very yeah. importantly: Are we going to be travelling back to Dickie's den? Oh, oh yes. Very, do you know what, Harriet? Dear, you've whipped out your ball today, haven't you, love, Miss Gypsy Rosie? <laughs> yes. Because. Yes. because yes. I will. I will be returning to um, Dickie's Den. Not. Not. Well. Well. When I'm doing Zoom calls, so actually the next time we meet, I believe they're they're sending over a strapping um, young lad of the techie variety who's going to um, put a little bit more of an HD setup. Um, uh, so I can. Uh, well, you'll you'll see me all the clearer and hear me all the clearer. Hopefully, up Ooh. next week, <laughs> as opposed to this. But at least I finally invested in one of these girls. Right? Thank you. Yeah, I love Thank it. You. Oh yes, I like it over your head. It looks much better. A halo. Thanks. Halo. <laughs> <laughs> that slipped a long time ago, didn't it, Richard? Oh, I know. So yeah, the terrifying <laughs> thing, ladies. Terrifying thing, ladies. The prospect of me in high definition next week. But you, you can be the judge of it. We'll see. We'll see how it works yes. out. But yeah. We're, we're never going. We're never doing that, dear. We're filtered to <laughs> black, and yes. that's the way it's going to stay. Really? It's weird at the moment because I don't know if you girls feel like, but I feel my dogs have a better social life than I do. Oh yeah, hundred mm. percent. They go yeah. out. They see their friends. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean and obviously, like Debbie, as you dogs. said, they're, yeah, they're, well, you like to smell people, and they're allowed to sniff each other. And, and as you said, yeah. you like to smell people. And yes. That's I know about human contact, isn't it? And being attracted to people. Because I have the, you know, the dog, the dog walker comes to take them out when I'm when I'm doing the show, and they come back, and when they leave the house, they look very worried. Like, are you okay? I've never Aww. the dogs are actually worried to leave me. You think <laughs> in re yeah. everything reverse, wrong way round. Yeah, yeah. You can see them thinking, you know, will she suffer from anxiety? Uh, uh, you know, sort of anxiety. Yeah. There, Separation. Sort of Separation yeah. anxiety, and, and and I do. I think, are they all right? Are they going to be okay? You know, they've gone out. I'm on my own. Oh my god, there's no dogs here. No one will bark. And he said, like, oh, I have gone insane. I have gone insane. Can you call the doctor, please? <laughs> no, mine's here. She's sort of down there. I don't think you can see her though. She's sort of there a little. Yeah. Can you yes. See a little bit? Oh. A little, oh. little ball of flour. Little snooze. Yeah, She's not buzzed. Went to the bushes early this morning and picked her up a little bone and. Um, she had that, and then we went for a little um, uh, cheeky walk. I think, yeah, yeah, she's clearly lost interest in me entirely. I get that a lot. Um, <laughs> oh, darling, that's not true. Not true ever. <laughs> <laughs> how many shows have How many shows have we done now, ladies? Surely it's time we talk about Dallas and TV shows. Surely it's time that we box set all the Wonderbirds. Uh, yes, we, we should. I think we've, we've done we've done something like 150 or 160 or something already. Wow! Oh, so congratulations! That is a lot. That is great. That is a lot. Um, it is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that is a lot. It's, oh, time wow. for the it's time for the musical now. Uh, I have to put it. It's to only music. a step away, dear. <laughs> Step away. We're on ice. We, yes, and we've got some really nice themes coming up, darling, which we will share with you. Mm, nice, some nice themes. Oh, yes, themes. you don't know yes. about this, do you? No. Okay. Check, no well, with I your agent. I have to inform you about it, but we've got some ideas of the crazy things. We're going to get some craziness, because I, I think my favourite show of all time has got to be when you were dressed up as Snoopy Dog. It was great. <laughs> the cartoon. <Okay. laughs> <laughs> okay, this is that point in the show where I get someone to interrupt me, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The phone's we're, going. We're, you're supposed to be knocking on the door at he's this there, point. He's there. We're wrapping this. <laughs> we're done with this now. I love you, ladies. Have a wonderful weekend. And, Thank you, and darling. You, darling. And Take you, love you, week. See you next week. Happy love you, darling. Love you, darling. Bye. 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 <laughs>